Hello and welcome to Industrial Surplus. Today we are proud to offer this 1991 Akuma LC25 2-axis CNC turning center. Uh, this machine, I can't say it enough, is in excellent condition, without a doubt. It has an 18.9 inch maximum swing over the bed. Maximum turning diameter of 14.7. Maximum turning length is 49.21 inches. Spindle speeds are 65 to 3500 RPM. 12 position turret, tail stock. Z axis travel is 50 inches. X axis travel is uh, 1.77 to 7.24 inches. Rapid traverse rate is 591 inches per minute on the Z, 472 on the X. The uh, spindle uh, through hole is 3.15 inches. It's a 12 inch three jaw power chuck with a spindle nose type of A28, a number five Morse taper in the tail stock. Uh, tail stock spindle travel is 4.72. It's equipped to the Akuma OSP 5020L CNC control with color screen. The uh, Z-axis ball screw on this machine was replaced, the screw and the nut replaced in 2010. Uh, it has uh, this miscellaneous turret tooling that you can see on there now. Chip conveyor, which is working. The cooling system. I have uh, all the manuals for the machine. And it is equipped with this uh, 40 horsepower I want to turn the spindle off, please. 40 horsepower motor drive. And uh, we left this cover open just so you can kind of see and hear how it operates. I'll probably say it a couple of more times, but this machine is in excellent condition. Just a real, true powerhouse. A true Akuma machine that it is. So we'll uh, go ahead and do some movements on it first. We'll uh, open the doors because uh, we can when we're just manually doing it. And you can get an idea how the machine is. I'll be quiet for a little while and you can hear it. I'm standing pretty close to this machine. You can't even hear it move. Nice action on the turret. Do some spindle speeds here. Again, just phenomenal. This is uh, this is a beautiful machine. You really need to uh, see this in person to appreciate it. It's uh, I know this video won't come out as good as it is, as good as the machine is. How many RPMs? Is that? That's a thousand as fast as you can run in MDI.
Okay, and then uh, we also have the uh, tailstock. Retract. Another foot pedal for the extension. Again, that's about a 4.72 inch travel. And, uh, oh yeah, we have the uh, truck control too. All right, uh, we do have a little program that uh, we picked out of the uh, control here that will uh, run for you. It's uh, not the best program for a machine demonstration, but it is in there and we can run it. Uh, but we have to close the doors, otherwise the switches will uh, override or keep us from running it. Let me say it again, this machine is just beautiful. 40 horsepower, the mass of an Akuma, the turret, the ways, the slides, the screws. If you own an Akuma lathe, you know what I'm talking about. That's the program. Well, I don't think it's finished, but that's the, the gist, gist of it. Of it yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking they were running the same tool, multiples of the same, in order to uh, make it easier for them to make you know long runs of parts and enough to change tools. They just select another tool there. Yeah. Because uh, I noticed it didn't change tools on the way on the beginning of the part program. So that may have been the case. Let me just uh, walk around a little bit. Chip conveyor still going. Back of the machine. It's just uh, all the way around. Everything is just uh, perfect. I would uh, recommend coming out and seeing this machine for yourself if possible. I know that it would not disappoint uh, disappoint you in any way. Alright, thank you very much.